Hi folks. Well, this will be an abbreviated video. I uh, put the protective covering number 12, which apparently will PC12, which was apparently the designation for one of the top shades for the RFC and RNAS planes of the Great War. Um, anyway, I got that on the fuselage and wings today. Per the gurus at Wingnut Wings, the uh, approximation for PC-12 is a 50-50 mix uh, if you're using Tamiya acrylic paints of Tamiya XF-10 flat brown and XF-62 olive drab. So I duly mixed those up. There's also a PC-10, but that's another story for a different plane. So anyway, I um, laid that over the wings. Bottom wing, top wing, uh, horizontal stabilizer, tailplane, whatever, uh, which is only the half, only the front half is dark. The uh, back edges are white, as you can see. And the ailerons and those lines, a little too bold on the ailerons, but that's kind of small. But the subtle effect, I think, worked out really well on the biplane wings and um, here's the fuselage there are some places that need another coat i had actually run out not of the paint but of the mix in the paintbrush bucket and frankly i was tired and had already started cleaning the airbrush and hadn't looked that closely my bad so i'll mix up some more uh, not tomorrow, but when I get back from Wyoming and uh, fix, <laughs> do some spray. It's easy since it's 50-50 on the spots that need some touch-up. The front of the fuselage is going to progressively get come unmasked as around the cockpit opening there is a light wood finish. And then the cowling and top part of the cowling extending back to the wood will be in red. Um, okay, uh, I learned today that my hoped for co-pilot will not be riding with me and helping me out with the driving chores tomorrow as he sensibly is flying, but he would have done that although he wasn't able to get a refund on the ticket he had purchased. So I certainly understand that. So long drive. This is the last one until the middle of next week, unless I do some sort of broadcast from Helena, which may or may not happen when I get back at the beginning of next week there before returning to Oregon. Okay, that's it. Uh, and uh, the fuselage actually looks pretty good under all of that duct tape. Well, actually, it's to me a masking tape, but you can take my word for it. I hope.